Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and today's tutorial is going to be all about adjusting the sizes of slots and tabs for different material thicknesses using Silhouette Studio Business Edition. So in this case, I'm going to be showing you using my monogram lanterns design, but you can of course apply this to any design that you want. So before we get started actually editing the slots themselves, the very first thing you're going to want to do is measure your material with your calipers. If you don't have calipers, you can also use my free slot sizer design. And the link to that is in the description of this video. You can grab that. But either way, you're going to need to measure your material. So do that now. Pause the video and I'll wait. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you're back and you now know how thick your material is. So for this example, uh, the design here has slots that are 0.201 thick. And we're going to change, for the example, we're going to change it to 0.12, all right, 0.12. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here and we're going to take a look at the top and bottom pieces, which are these two squares here. And we're going to edit the slots in there first, and then we'll move over to the side panels and adjust the length of the tabs. So first of all, if you select this piece right here, you're going to find that these rectangles are connected or they are a compound path. And a lot of people think that you need to ungroup it, and that's actually not what it needs to be. In Illustrator, it's called Release Compound Path. And in Inkscape, it's called Break Apart. And in here, we're going to right click on this and we're going to go to Release Compound Path right here. Now, when you click on this, you get to click on the the uh, slots individually and now you can see the size of them. So when you click on these, when you look way up here on the top bar, you're going to see that the width is 0 0.201 and we're going to change that to 11 or sorry 0 0.12. So I'm going to backspace over that and 0.12. I'm going to hit tab and sorry I'm going to hit enter. Whoops, yep, see, I made the mistake there. Don't ch don't change the height, leave the height the way it is. So we're going to Unclick, or we're going to click the lock so that they're not connected. So let me go back. I'm glad I made that mistake so you see it. And we're going to hit 0.12. And now it's just fine. So now it's just changed the width, but nothing else. And so now we're going to go over here to the other one across from it. 0.12. And it's good. And then the top one, I think you're getting the, the uh, rhythm here, 0.12. Oops, sorry, I did it again. And then the bottom one here, 0.12. All right, that was really easy. And we're going to do the same thing with the, uh, the top here. And the only things that we need to edit here in the top are these four rectangles. We're not going to mess with anything else. These four squares are the feet that go on the bottom. So in this case, it's not going to matter. Uh, you're not going to need to change those. So hopefully you see that this is really easy. And of course the designer, uh, he combined some of this and not others, I'm a doofus. So I had to release compound path on that here. Uh, so if you find that you can't edit something, just release the compound path, that's what you need to do. So now that's all done. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna edit one of these side panels. And of course we're gonna do one because they're all identical. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these other ones because we don't need them. And then we'll just copy paste this other one when we're done. So here's what I do on these. This is the method that I do to make it really easy. I'll go over here and grab a shape here. I'm going to take a, uh, a rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle that is, uh, it doesn't really matter the length uh, so much, but what we're going to do is I'm going to draw it out like this and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make the width, wow, that was really close, 0.12 again. So, so now that it's, uh, it's actually the width that I need it to be uh, compared to our material. And then I'm going to drag this rectangle. Oh, of course, I'm going to get on the right tool here. I'm going to drag this rectangle to where it is lined up right with the edge of the, let me see if I can show you, right here. 
right with the edge of this shape right here. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take this tab, we're gonna shorten it down using this as a guide to know how short to make it. So we're, when we shorten it down, it's gonna be 0.12. I hope that makes sense. So now we're gonna go uh, back up here and we're going to edit these nodes on this one. Mark pause for a second here. Because you gotta remember where that node to, oh yeah. And to do that, we're gonna select this shape again and go up here to this tool right here, which is edit points. That's what they call it here in this program. And we're gonna click this point right here, it's gonna turn white. And then down here, we're gonna hold shift down and we're gonna click this one here so we got them both. Now we're gonna click and drag them until it aligns with the side of that rectangle, just like that. And so now we know that that tab is the right length. If we hadn't done that, it was gonna stick out and it was gonna look funny. Now we just take this guy over here and we're gonna line him back up here the same way we did the other one, right like that. We're gonna get the edit points tool, click here, it's white, and then we're gonna shift click the other one down here. We've got them both, and now I'm gonna drag it in just like, and I'm gonna hold shift down, by the way, to keep that, uh, to keep, oh, actually shift is done, doesn't work in this one, okay. I'm still learning it occasionally. Right there, so now I've got it exactly where I need it, and I can delete my other rectangle that we don't need, and now we're gonna zoom back out, and the last thing I need to do is just select this one and copy and paste it. And you've got four different ones. Oh, sorry. You know, it's funny today, I've been doing tutorials for several different programs all in a row. And occasionally my brain forgets which one I'm using. I'm sure that never happens to you. <laughs> and there we've got all four. And now you've got it exactly edited for your material thickness. It's gonna be really easy. Once you learn this, you're gonna you're just gonna breeze right through editing slots and tabs whenever you need to. I hope you have fun with this. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, as always, I'd love to see what you create with this. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.